Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Kahan, Medical Director of the Strategies to Overcome and Prevent STOP Obesity Alliance. Research shows that doctors get little, if any, training in how to counsel patients about weight and obesity, and we've heard many examples of counterproductive conversations that aren't helpful for patients. Here's one example of what not to do. You know, when I saw you at the last appointment, I told you that you needed to lose weight. It doesn't seem like you've been working at it. You can't even fit into the chair. I know, doctor, but I was thinking that... Look, I've told you the same thing over and over. You're obese. Being obese can kill you. Don't you understand that? Obesity causes diabetes and heart disease. Don't you want to do something about it? Honestly, doctor, I, I really do want to try, and, and I, I want to lose weight. Part of the issue is that I, I have a very busy job and I have three kids. There's not much time left in the day to go to the gym or cook meals or... That's what everybody says, and it sounds like an excuse to me. I don't think you're doing all that you can. You just have to work harder. Everyone has time. You just have to make it a priority in your life. Yeah, I don't know. I just... If you just do what I tell you, you'll lose weight and you can get off all these medications. Okay, fine. What do you want me to do? Take this. I put together a sheet for you. Take that home. Follow it. 1,200 calories a day. Exercise for an hour a day, six days a week, and really focus hard on this because your life depends on it, okay? I don't want to see you back here until you get this weight off. The conversation you just saw is not helpful for any patient. Conversations like this aren't respectful or productive, and if anything, research has shown that they tend to push patients away and get in the way of meaningful lifestyle changes. Please visit whyweightguide.org for resources and a helpful tool on how to build productive conversations with your patients about weight. Thank you.